in this video I'll show you how to connect your HP LaserJet M110WE to your Mac computer. It could be a MacBook Air, iMac, MacBook Pro, no matter what Apple computer you have. I'll show you how to connect them and I'll also show you how to print. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is right over here where you see those lights on your printer. If it's the first time you're using your printer and you just powered it on, you should see this Wi-Fi light blinking. This means that your printer is in pairing mode. If it's not the case, it's very easy to put it in pairing mode. All you have to do is to keep press on this Wi-Fi button. Okay, keep press until the power button light and the light right above it with the exclamation mark starts blinking. Then you can release the Wi-Fi button. So just wait, okay, the power button is now blinking. Just wait a bit more. And uh, we should see the exclamation mark blinking. Perfect, it is now release. The printer will shut down by itself and power it back on without you having to touch any buttons. You just have to wait during two minutes at this point and then you'll see the Wi-Fi button blinking which means that the printer is now in pairing mode. So just wait, it will take as I said about two minutes, you see the printer just powered off. Now it's powering back on again and in a few seconds you'll see the Wi-Fi light blinking. So let's go on the Mac in the meanwhile you need to open the App Store on your Mac and search for HP Smart. Then you should download the HP Smart app for desktop. Go ahead and download it or update it like in my case if you already had it. Then you just have to wait a bit until it downloads. Just to show you that the printer is in pairing mode right now you see the Wi-Fi light is blinking. This is great. It means that in just a few minutes, we will connect both together. Once the app is downloaded, just press open. So this is the main page of the HP Smart app. You may have other printer connected. What you need to do is to press on the top right corner over here where you see a printer with a plus sign. Tap once on this then you're gonna tap on get started. Then in this list, you should see your uh, HP printer appearing, M110 LaserJet, click on it. Now the printer needs to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your computer. So make sure that the name that appears right under the Wi-Fi sign here is your home network or office network and now you have to type the password of uh, that Wi-Fi network. Once the password is typed, press continue. Now it will ask to press just once on the Wi-Fi button on the printer. All you have to do is to go over here, press once, and the setup will continue on the computer. Don't touch anything, just let it finish. Perfect, you should get this screen saying the pr printer is connected to Wi-Fi, then press continue. And now at this point, HP will try to sell you their HP Plus service, which is a subscription service from them. Now let's just wait so they present to you and I'll explain what's up about this. Here you're not obligated to accept uh, whatever they're saying here, just press on decline optional data. And here we go, introducing HP Plus. So as I said, HP Plus is a subscription service. You pay a certain amount of dollars or whatever currency you're using every month and HP gives you a free ink, I mean free ink toner and allows you to print a certain amount of pages every month. If you go above that amount of pages you're allowed, well, you pay an extra um, that month. Well, it sounds good, right? And in practice, it should be good. But there is one catch about this program. The catch is that once you enroll in HP Plus, 
and later you decide it's not for you anymore, you want to get out of it, perfect, you unsubscribe, but then you're obligated, HP force you to buy original HP ink for this printer. You won't be able to get any third parties uh, toners that are usually cheaper than that compared to the original HP toner, which means you're gonna overpay a lot for your ink. And what frustrates me the most is that even if you unsubscribe, they still force you to buy HP ink. This printer for the rest of its life won't be able to work with third parties toner, which is a shame. So again, it's up to you. Maybe for you it's fine and just go ahead and subscribe to their HP Plus service. In that case, just press continue here and they'll give, you'll have to put all your details and whatever. But for the normal user, I, I'm not sure that this is a great deal. And another thing that I don't like about the whole process here is that HP is very sneaky about it. They are dishonest. What I mean by this, as you see over here, they say, you, hey, press continue to get into uh, HP Plus service. Thank you for choosing HP Plus. I didn't choose anything. Did you see that? And they will make you believe that you absolutely need to sign up in their HP Plus service to complete the setup of this printer. While this is not true, you can actually start printing with your printer. So what you need to do at this point is to quit this app. Okay, I'll go right over there and quit. then I'm relaunching the app. Okay, the app is relaunched. This is the main screen and you see how sneaky they are. They say finish setup. Well, that's not true. The setup is done. Now to start printing with your HP printer, that's another catch, but anyway, it's free. You absolutely need to have an HP account, which means that uh, you see over here where it says account. If you don't have one, you have to click on it and create one. It's 100% free, don't worry. Uh, they won't take your credit card number or anything like that. It takes just a few minutes to create one, but you absolutely need to be logged in into your account to make this work. I'm already logged, so what you need to do now is to press print documents. They will say, hey, you have a limited access. That's not true. Again, very sneaky. Just press continue. Choose the file you want to print that is on your computer. Let's say I want to print uh, this one. Press open. Then press print preview. Now all you have to do is to drag this arrow up like that. So you see all these options. Make sure your laser printer is selected on the top. And just before doing anything over this, just put some paper here like that. You can even extend this. Now you have to edit these settings if uh, they're not what you want. Let's say page range over here. I'll, I just want the first page. So I'll just select the first one and I'll make a check mark there. Go back and now press print when you're ready. Press OK if you get this message and now press print. And if we go over here, just wait a bit. And the printer has printed the page we just asked. So this is it. This is how you connect your Mac computer to your HP uh, printer. If you found this tutorial useful, please leave a like, comment down below. If you want to support this channel, I have put links uh, to Amazon if you want to get some ink or toner for your printer. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.